This is my e-bike build. I'm running a Crystallite HS3540 rear half motor. Uh, this thing would give me 35 to 40 miles an hour. And what I'm working on right now is figuring out the location of where I'm going to mount my battery pack. Uh, what I've seen on the little research I did is most folks would mount it right above the rear wheel uh, with a rack. Uh, this might be the easiest way, but it's just not going to work for me. I think that the battery pack weights a little bit and just mounting it so high is going to shift my center of gravity and also I don't want to have all the weight in the back of the bike the motor is already 16 pounds and by the time you add the weight of a battery it's all the weight going to be shifted back so I think the optimum location for me is going to be inside the bike frame uh, so what I did to mount the batteries is I went ahead and bought a piece of poplar and what I did is I router the edges on the top side this is about a half an inch radius and machine the sides and I'll show you why in just one minute once I got this done all I had to do is just measure the angles on my triangle on the bike and build my triangle where the batteries are gonna go okay as you can see here I built my battery box out of wood I router the edges and also have it spray painted in white. I also build the side box. I use a thin plastic and I also have it spray painted and pre drilled. This is just a really thin piece of plastic I found and that's going to go on the sides of the box. So let's uh, mount it on the bike and see how it fits. Okay, so I went ahead and I got my side panel mounted. I also mounted my on off switch and I wanted to show you guys I got my battery packs ready to go on the bike and I also made my main wire connecting harness. What I also have here is four balance lead extensions. I have two 12 pin connecting ports with the connectors and four battery medics and the way I'm gonna use this is the extensions are gonna be cut roughly in half and the connecting port will be hooked to my connector the male side will go to the port and the female side is gonna go to the connector so once I cut it that will go that end and the other end is gonna go here so then this male side is going to hook to the batteries and that's what's going to take the information out of the battery box it will hook to the connector and from there on the female side is going to attach to the battery medics and that's how I'm going to monitor my batteries without having to open the battery box okay one of the reasons why my wires don't look all the same in every battery pack is because the way they're going to be mounted in my battery box and I'll show you as I go through on this one for example is number three and my balance leads are coming out of the back and my main wires are a little bit longer than the other ones so this one's going to go here I also have to cut out a notch on my battery box. They were really tight, so without that notch in there, they wouldn't have fit. Next is gonna be my number two. And as you can see on these ones, 
the balance leads also come out of the back but my main connectors are really short so this one is gonna go right there and on this one my balance leads and main connector come out of the same end this one with a little bit of effort it's going to go right here and I'll tell you guys this couldn't be any more snug but I think that's good so that will keep my batteries from moving around so the last one as you can see the balance leads come out of the back and my main connectors are out of the front this one's gonna go right here wow that's tight and with a little bit of routing this wire is gonna go right there so now my main connector will be hooked all in that little area right there and running out of the back please check out the next video feel free to leave me any comments and don't forget to subscribe